What is going on everyone and welcome to the Stock Trends channel. So today's video we're talking about SNDL 420. What is going on? Do we see any upside price action? What to expect price targets to the upside and downside? Because we do have to be aware of the downside here. I want to talk about a recent event and why that could be a really big help in determining where SNDL goes over the rest of the week. Real quick, make sure you guys are jumping down below, subscribing to the channel, hitting that thumbs up button. Appreciate every single one of you guys who is doing so. Really quick, if we dive into the recent SNDL press releases, it's been about a month since the last PR we have from SNDL, which had us thinking that maybe we'd see something relatively soon. And if we take a look at SNDL right now, we've seen that this lack of communication has essentially lost interest in this stock. If we take a look at what's happened since the earnings that came out in the middle of March, we saw this stock up over this 150 at times. But ever since then, just the slow bleed on out. You notice the volume bars. Look at these volume bars down the bottom. They are getting smaller and smaller. Now, actually, they have been on the rise the past two days. And we saw a nice little green day yesterday where SNDL was up over 11%. So why was that the case? Well, because we have 420 today. We're filming this video. The time we're filming this video, we take a look at what SNDL is doing in the pre-market hours. It's actually up another 7%. So this stock actually made a pretty big push at the open yesterday on 419, pushing up here to 98 cents, just shy of 99. Came back down to about 87 and then started its grind the rest of the day into the afternoon hours. And that grind continued into the aftermarket hours. Now, if you want access to be able to trade during these hours, the platform we have here is WeWell. There's links in the pinned comment and description box to get access to this platform. It's free to use. There's no commissions. You also get two free stocks in the process up to signing up and depositing 100 bucks. But guess what happened at 4 a.m.? At 4 a.m., just after 4 a.m., SNDL pops to 110. So, you know, right there, if you were to, for example, play the uh, overnight gap idea for SNDL and, and you bought SNDL here at around 99 cents, you sold it up around 109, you know, that's a 10 cent move. That's a 10% move right there on SNDL. And you can lock those in here at 4 a.m. Now you can set that order and forget about it, wake up the next day and wake up to some money in your account, right? That's what you could do. And that's a strategy we talk about over on the personal channel. There is a video on my personal channel. There's a link down below for the channel and it's the overnight gap strategy. And, and that's the overnight gap strategy right there in a nutshell, you know? But with that said, you know, what's the danger here of, of SNDL? What's the danger here today with, with some of these stocks? Well, the danger is that simply 420 in the current market conditions is probably not enough to send SNDL unless you get a ton of volume coming in, which we saw a lot of volume yesterday. But unless that volume continues and we see further price action to the upside, unless that happens, I don't know if SNDL will be able to hold up. So we'll have to watch. Definitely be something to watch. Over 110 is the key. If SNDL breaks those pre-market highs of 110, I would think SNDL starts a pretty substantial move to the upside. Over 110 probably sends to 115, 120, and there is resistance up around 130, 135 or so. That was an area that was a prior area of support and resistance in the past, as we've talked about prior in prior months here on this channel. So that's just something to watch. Now, the other option here you have is that you could just not trade SNDL or you could go the short side. Now, depending upon the broker you have, you may not be able to short SNDL, but you could trade put options, which bets on the stock to go down. The reason why we mention that is because this market has not been very conducive for a lot of short squeezes for runners and SNDL has been trading very heavy, as we say, right? The past couple of weeks, the past month or so, right? It's been kind of slowly bleeding off. So with this pop, this could be the opportunity that people who were kind of bag holding the stock, who were stuck in the stock, it could be their opportunity to sell. Just want to point that out. I don't have a position as of right now, right? But it could be their opportunity to sell this stock. And if you're getting the opportunity where SNDL pushes up from 81 cents up to over a dollar, you know what? You may take your 20%, whatever it is, 25% off the bottom that you just had. And if you average down along the way, you know what? You're taking your money here and you're running and you're saying, you know what? Screw SNDL. I can't take it anymore. I'm moving on to something else. That's just a thought process you want to make sure you have at least in the back of your head as many traders may do that come today, come the rest of the week. Just watch how this plays out. What we'd love to see is we'd love to see the leader of the pack here, which is Tilray. We'd love to see Tilray pushing on up, which as we're speaking, Tilray is, eh, it's up 2% here in the pre-market hours, but it was actually up a lot more come 4 a.m. But we'd love to see Tilray pushing up over 18, over 18 to 50, 
breaking up towards 19 towards $20. If you see Tilray doing that, SNDL will follow along, you know, to a, to a degree. Obviously, don't expect SNDL to go to 20 bucks, but SNDL up to 120, 125, you know, that's certainly possible if Tilray starts pushing up to $20. But if it's not the case, what you could be looking at here is buy the rumor, sell the news, almost where it's like the news, I guess, is the day 420 and the rumor was the days leading up to it, and what do we see? And we saw the same thing happen with a lot of Coinbase-related sympathy plays, a lot of those crypto plays, a lot of those Bitcoin-related stocks. Going into the Coinbase Direct listing, we saw those stocks pushing on up, and then once we got to that actual day, Coinbase comes out direct direct list and Coinbase falls off. And so that's the kind of the watch you have to be making sure you're at least aware of to the downside here. Because when everyone's looking one way, when everyone's saying, yeah, 420, it's going to be great for all these cannabis stocks. When everyone's saying that many times, right, the actual money's made on the other side because 90% are going to lose in the short term when it comes to day trading and, you know, short term trading. Those are just the statistics that we have, right? That's, that's the game, right? It's skewed against most people. But if you start thinking about how to be in the 10%, then that gives you a slight edge. And that's all you need when it comes to trading is have a slight edge, be able to identify more than half the time you're right, cut your losses small, let your winners ride, right? And you can make a lot of money trading stocks. Just understand that we want to make sure you're aware of both sides. So SNDL gets very interesting if this stays over $1 here into the open and pushes back up over 110 very, very bullish if that happens. If SNDL falls below $1, that's fine. It just needs to hold up in the upper 90s. SNDL falls below $1 and it starts kind of fading off, volume starts dying out come midday. I can see the stock coming right back down to where it was yesterday, midday. And I can see it coming back down to where it was three days ago, right? It's certainly possible. Just make sure you understand that and that potential magnitude to the downside is still pretty substantial. If you were a short in this stock, you're looking at where it's at right now, you know, you're looking at this thing and come back down towards 80 cents, you're looking at a 20% return. You know, 20% in a couple days, if that fades out the rest of the week, if the volume fades out and the stock slowly bleeds off like it has been over the past couple of weeks, right? That's certainly an opportunity that shorts are looking at. Just make sure you're aware of that. Hopefully this video is helpful. Hopefully you got something out of this video because I want to make sure that people don't just look and are skewed by diamond hands and hold and this is going to the moon because that's funny. It's all great to be a part of the movement, but if you're actually looking to make money here, which we're trying to talk about how to make money here in the stock market, we're trying to hopefully give you guys ideas that can help you do so. That's the name of the game. You want to be aware of both sides. So thank you guys so much for watching. There'll be links down below to get access to Webull, 4 a.m. to 8 p.m. trading hours, the best trading hours that we have. Also links down below to sites like Tip Ranks. Taking a look actually at SNDL on Tip Ranks, uh, there hasn't been much updates as of late. We have a hold here from Cantor Fitzgerald. Uh, that was a month ago when SNDL was actually trading up around that price point anyway. That's why we're seeing a hold and why the upside is still like 50%. Um, outside of that, you know, it seems like analysts have been kind of negative on SNDL uh, prior to that hold rating that we had out from Cantor. So hopefully this video was helpful. There'll be links down the list as well in the description box. We use the ultimate platform as we believe it is the best platform when it comes to researching stocks, diving into price targets and getting information that you can't get anywhere else all in one place. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.